In a new quarry, Worx starts by removing the layer of vegetation and soil that cover the stone. It's necessary to test the quality in order to detect faults and imperfection that is maybe have. In the clearing operation, the first thing to be done is to remove the layer of vegetation and then go down to where we find the stone face. We usually find a few layers which are useless but can then be used to fill in places where stone has already been taken out. We usually find the pit between about 8.9 and 10 meters down, depending on the depth of the stone face. Cleaning the area. Once the limite and prepare the area of the stone that will be excavated, the next step is cutting and extracting. The traditional system where wedges, that is picks, were used, and then the blocks were fitted with wedges and levers. The wedges are driven into the stone with a hammer to exert pressure and make the stone break. It's removed sideways using the levers. There's the pneumatic system where compressors have already been used, where the same cracks that were made with picks are made with compressors. There's another system, a mechanical system, which is being used with rails, where machines with wide discs are used in the quarry, and the same cracks are made by the discs. The stone is extracted from the quarry in blocks. To obtain this block, the first step is to mark the cutting lines that delimit the site, which will depend on subsequent use requirements. Once marked the horizontal cutting lines, the next step is to make the vertical cuts. This task has been traditionally done with picks and plug drills. With each, were inserted in the cutting lines and then blocks were separated by heating the with each. In addition, wooden with each were used in some cases to break the stone as they swell when they get wet. At present, blocks are cut with a circular show which runs on rails. The next step is to mark lines for crocs cut and process in the same way to cut the stone. After making this cut, the block is detachment from the ground by using plug drills and a jackhammer. In order to do so, the quarry workers use a road racing pick to mark several slots at the base of the block. Afterward, widgets are inserted in the slots using a hammer or mallet and struck sociably until the stone block breaks at the base and its detachment from the surface. These blocks that are separated from the surface are called root stone. They are extracted from the quarry to be transferred to the workshop where the next phase of wars begins.